Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a pharmacokinetic or PK curve using GraphPad Prism version 10.2 on a MacBook. So these steps could look a little bit different on your screen. Here I'm showing sample data for two different drugs with different pharmacokinetic properties. On the x-axis we have hours from administration, so either 1, 4, 8, or 24 hours from drug administration. And on the y-axis we have a number of replicates for whatever your readout is. It could be fluorescence intensity or radioactivity or area under the curve, depending on the assay that you've done for your data. But here I'm showing drug concentration at these different time points. In my example, I'm showing drugs that were administered intravenously, meaning they go straight into the bloodstream, and so we're skipping the absorption phase that would come with a drug administered orally, for example, and going straight to the distribution and elimination phases. So here we're assuming that the two drugs were injected at the same dose, such that the bioavailability of each drug is supposedly about 100% um, at hour one. So just hypothetically, we have a value of 20 for our drug concentration in all of our replicates. If you have more than three replicates, you can add more just by double clicking the subcolumn like this, going to table format, and increasing the number of Y replicate values that you want to display in your side by side subcolumns. If you have more than two groups, you can always just enter your values in group C, D, and onwards. Now, if we get into the analysis, you can click on Analyze and go to Nonlinear Regression to make a curve fit of our data. Prism automatically selects our two data sets and we click on One Phase Decay, giving us this list of decay values. Most people are interested in things like Half-Life, which shows the amount of time taken to reach 50% of the maximum concentration for each data set, or tau, which is the decay constant showing how quickly your drug is decaying. When you click on uh, this nonlinear fit analysis, it also automatically generates the curve for your data and fits the curve to your actual data points. So here we have drug A uh, with the circles and drug B in the squares. So of course you can change the increments at which the x-axis is displayed, so I personally like to change this to something smaller, maybe an interval of 5 instead of 10. And changing the y-axis uh, title to concentration, or whatever it is that you're measuring. You can always change the, um, the symbols or the colors of your two datasets as well, just by double-clicking on the group um, and changing the colors here, or the shape. You can also change the error bars to show a standard error of the mean instead of standard deviation, and you can just toggle the data set up here. If you want to display the half-life or decay values on the graph itself, a nice way is to go directly into the table of results, select half-life uh, for your two data sets, go to insert, embedded table, copy, go back to your graph, insert again, back to embedded table, and then paste. And that will give you a nice little table to show whatever results are important for your case. But that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions and see you in the next video.